Alrighty. <clears throat> a little bit of a delay getting to this, but that happens. So as promised, from the Vault Annihilation. It's a nice looking little package. It's got a little magnetic clasp on it. The box is heavy cardboard. Yay. Little thumb impression right there. Just helps slide the thing out. And we've got the plastic tray. And here we've got a little uh, poster thing that gives you a rundown on all the a little bit of a rundown on all the cards and whatnot. Take the top off the tray. You get a spin down die. Not particularly pleased with the, spin, with the colors on this spin down die. I'm sure it was a nice idea and all, but not particularly pleased. We have a stack with Wrath of God with new art on the front. Rolling Earthquake with, I'm guessing that's original Portal for Kingdoms art, and Living Death with new art. Let's start off with the Rolling Earthquake pack. Uh, rolling Earthquake. X, Red, Sorcery, X damage to each creature without horsemanship and each player. It's basically Portal 3 Kingdom's version of Earthquake. Um, Portal Three Kingdoms, for those that don't know, was uh, supposed to be an introductory level uh, expansion, but it was only sold in the Australian and Southeast Asian markets. Everywhere else you had to wait for someone in those markets to buy them up and then sell them second hand. Yep. Yep. And because it was based on, uh, you know, the pseudo-historical age of the Three Kingdoms, uh... Uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, uh, quasi-historical novel type thing. Um, the same thing that Dynasty Warriors is based on. And Dynasty Warriors itself came after the classic Koei uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms uh, turn-based strategy games. Um, yeah. So anyway, since it's a real-world kind of thing, flying doesn't fit very well in it. So they came up with horsemanship, which mechanically is identical to flying, but it's not flying. Reach creatures with reach can't block creatures with horsemanship. Creatures with flying can't block creatures with horsemanship. Um, etc. etc. A hurricane, for example, uh, X green sorcery, X damage to all creatures with flyers and all players. Yeah, that won't touch creatures with horsemanship. That just won't. But, uh, Rolling Earthquake, it's basically, you know, and, and it's weird, it's an earthquake that will hit creatures with flying, go fit, right? Smokestack, new art, uh, classic from, I believe, Urza's block. Um, beginning of your upkeep, you put, may put a soot counter on Smokestack. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a permanent for each soot counter on Smokestack. That's kind of nasty. It's it's actually quite nasty. Uh, Terminus. Uh, four double white sorcery. Put all creatures on bottom of owner's libraries. Miracles for a single white. That is to say, if you, uh, when you draw it, you may uh, at that time reveal it and pay white and cast it. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of nasty. And it's original art, and it's a reprint from, I want to say Avacyn Restored. So it's relatively recent cards, but I'm not going to bitch about it being in here, because it is strong. Upheaval, four double blue, return all permanents to owner's hands. I want to say that was originally from Urza's block, but don't quote me on that. Um, it might have been reprinted a time or two after that, but you haven't seen it in print in a long time. 
Virtues, uh, ruin, two cults, and a black sorcerer, destroy all white creatures. I have no idea where that originally com came from. Maybe one of the old starter sets? I don't know. Uh, it's really... Uh, it, that, and of course, it's a quote-unquote hate card. Um, you don't see cards that specifically target one color like that much anymore. Double check the uh, little literature that came with this thing, right? Maybe it has something to say on it. Huh. Yep, it comes from the original portal. Ain't that something? I thought so. But I don't think it's ever been reprinted either. The Living Death Pack. I don't think Living Death itself has ever really been reprinted. About 100% certain. There have been variations on it. Uh, there was a... Uh, a version with Suspend in uh, Time Spiral Block. And back. Yeah, I fumbled the camera. Oops. So, uh, let's go back and talk about this stuff. Living Death, um, three colors, double black, sorcery. You basically exchange creatures in graveyard and creatures in place positions. That's nuts! Oh, that's so nutty. So nutty. And you'll see, you know, um, as I mentioned earlier, you, um, there's a suspend version in, like, Time Spiral Block. Um, I believe... Um, one of the Liliana Vest, maybe the original. Her uh, capstone ability is that. I can't remember. I have to double check. I'd have to double check. Oh, not a big deal. Um, Marshall Koo, X white white put X one one white soldiers... Uh, creature tokens onto the battlefield of X is five or more, destroy all other creatures. I want to say that's some like onslaught block, maybe. I'm trying to remember. Oh wait, all oh, the flavor text talks about bent. Okay, so um, maybe it's from um. I can't remember the name of the block. The one that I missed because I was in Iraq. Fuck you, Iraq. Fuck you. No, I got nothing uh, bad to say about the people of Iraq at any rate. Well, at least not all the people. You know what I'm going to say. Iraq's, uh, oh, it's one hell of a thing. Conflux, okay. So it was from, uh, that block. I can't remember the name of the block. I'm totally brain farting on it. I don't have a lot of cards from that block, so I had to pick them up all, like, you know, after the fact. Shards of Alara. There we go. So, yeah. Okay. It's not a bad card. It's interesting. Armageddon. It's a classic. Three and a white. Sorcery. Destroy all lands. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar with that one. It's a classic, you know? You get board advantage and you wipe out all the lands. Helps if you sandbag a few lands in hand uh, first, too. Um, I use it in EDH in my Newmont, the uh, Devastator deck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Burning of Xinyi, or Xinyi, however it would be pronounced. Uh, four red, red, destroy all lands you can... Destroy four lands you control, then target opponent destroys four lands he or she controls, then Burning of Xinyi deals four damage to each creature. It's like wildfire in... Portal Three Kingdoms version. Okay, whatever. It's cool. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's like you know, ah, it's not groundbreaking stuff, you know, but it's not bad. Cataclysm. Oh my goodness, Cataclysm. If I recall correctly, originally from Tempest Block. Uh, two white, white. Each player chooses. From among the permanents here, she controls an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a land, and sacrifices the rest. Um, I would use this in a red-white deck that I call the Destroyer, um, to basically preserve, like, a destruction combo and just wipe everything else off the field, and then proceed to, like, keep destroying stuff. 
uh, it's pretty harsh. And it's it's a nice card. It's 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 a it's a really strong card. And as another fun side note, it wipes every planeswalker off the field. Planeswalkers were not a permanent type there, so it didn't tell you to save one of them. They all go. They're all gone. Now out of there. They're out of there. Put those back in the little tray. Wrath of God, with new art, which um, references the um, characters and story from the recent Theros block. All well and good. Um, it's it's a classic two calls, white, white, destroy all creatures, they can't be regenerated. Um, like its cousin Armageddon dates all the way back to Alpha, the very first set. It's It's hardcore. And once again, and like, you know, Armageddon, Wrath of God sit, basically sits there and demonstrates how white is the ultimate evil in the game. And it's just like, oh, you think black's gonna go, be, you know, be destroying stuff? Oh, terror, dark banishing, something evil, blah, 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 your creature's dead, yada, yada, yada. It's like, screw you, Wrath of God, nobody has creatures. Nobody. White's a spoil sport. White's just sitting there like, oh, I can't have any? Fine. Nobody can. Nobody. Probably could use to clip, clip my nail, so look at that. Um, Child of Valara, or as I've heard it called before, Angry Baby. One mana of each color, 6-6, six, six, trample, when it dies, destroy all non-land permanents, they can't be regenerated. Well, basically, what you do with that is you just find a way to cheat it into play and sacrifice it. It's like, well, whatever. I don't know, quick... E using the five color EDH or whatever, you know, quick silver medallion, it's on the board, I sack it, get, get rid of stuff. Mm, get rid of stuff. Well, it destroys all non land permanents, so maybe you don't want to uh, use a quick silver medallion. Whatever you use to cheat it into play is generally going with it. So there's a lovely little piece of wisdom for you, right? You cheat it into play, whatever you do use to cheat it into play goes with it. Unless. Ooh, yeah, here's an interesting one. What if what you're using to cheat it into play is... I'm trying to think of... There's, there's, there's ways to abuse this. Okay, so if you get it into the graveyard, and then cheat it into play by using an animate dead, and then you uh, capsize with buyback on the animate dead, so that capsize returns target permanent to, uh, to owner's hand, and if you pay the buyback cost, it capsize returns itself to your hand in the process. So you capsize and buy it back on the animate dead, and then Angry Baby goes back to the graveyard. It's expensive, and it's a three-card combo. But it's an expensive three-card combo that wipes every non-land permanent off the field. There's got to be ways to abuse that. Or even faster, more efficient ways to do that, you know? You know? Um, Decree of Annihilation, it's ridiculous. Eight and double red for a sorcery. Exile. All artifacts, creatures, and lands from the battlefield. All cards from all graveyards, and all cards from all hands. Interestingly enough, since it was printed before Planeswalkers, it leaves Planeswalkers. Kind of interesting. It exiles pretty much everything else. Which is pretty saucy. I believe that's original art, too. Um, and what's funky about this is it cycles for five and double red, and when you cycle it, destroy all lands. Now, what's funky about that is that's a triggered ability on cycling. Triggered ability on cycling. Which means it's almost impossible to counter. What are you going to do? Counterspell it? What spell's on the stack? There's no spell on the stack. There's a triggered ability from cycling, and the cycling ability, which is an activated ability of a card in hand. There's no actual spell on the stack. You need something that wipes stuff off of the stack to get rid of that. You need, like, time stop. Freaking time stop. And that's one of the few things that will stop that. Yeah, it's a pretty hardcore.
pretty hardcore. Um, Fire Spout and Fracturing Gust, I want to say, are both from uh, the Lorwyn Shadowmore Mega Block. Double check this real quick. Shadow War for Fire Spout and Fracture and Gust. Both of them, okay. Look at that. Look at that. My memory's not too good on that one. That was like late during my time in Germany, I think. And at that time I was not playing magic as much. I was more wrapped up in the girlfriend I had at the time. And blah, 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 blah. She was pretty awesome, though, so I, I'm not going to blame myself for being wrapped up in her. Uh, she was kind of more wrapped up in me than she wanted to admit to, too. But, you know, things didn't pan out because relationships in the military when people deploy and blah, 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 blah. I deployed, and then she found out she was going to deploy like a month before I got back from deployment. So we were looking at two years of not seeing each other. She decided the best thing to do would be to move on, yada, 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 yada. It happens. That's life, man. You don't like it, but it's life. Um, Fire Spout is two and a red or green for three damage to each creature without flying if red was spent, and three to each creature with flying if green was spent. Three three damage to all creatures if red and green were spent, which is nice because it requires more than one mana to play, so it's very easy to end up paying both. You know, just pay, you know, one color for the colored version of it, for the colored uh, section of the casting cost, and the other for the colorless cost. I mean, you know, color, you know, the colorless section of the casting cost can be paid with mana of any color. Technically, you can spend black mana to pay to pl uh, play this spell. As long as there's at least one green or one red involved, that's all that counts. All that counts. And Fracturing Dust. Two and three mana in any combination of white and or green. Uh, destroy all artifacts and enchantments and gain two life for each permanent destroyed this way. Um... So yeah, it's um, it's basically Shatterstorm and Tranquility, for those of us who've been playing a really long time, you know, Shatterstorm and Tranquility, oh, it's an, at instant speed, and gaining life out of the deal. That's pretty saucy. Um, I got this for around like $40, $45, if I recall correctly. Um, the price point is alright. Um, there's some really, really good stuff in here. Uh, point, point blank put. There's some really good stuff in here. Um, is it gonna be worth the $45? That's, that's really for you to decide. I mean, how, uh, you know, how hard did you have to work for your $45, you know? But, um... I mean, you got Decree of Annihilation, you got Wrath of God, you got Armageddon. I mean, Armageddon hasn't been printed in years upon years. I want to say Armageddon was last printed in, like, Starter 97? Or Starter 99, something like that? Armageddon's been out of print for, like, ten freaking years. A Decree of Annihilation. It was printed in... Onslaught Block, I want to say? And so, yeah, it, and it's never been reprinted, so it's just like, bam, that's the first time it's been printed in, like, ten frickin' years or more. Or more? Um, Wrath of God was last printed in, I want to say, 10th edition? About 100% certain. It's been out of print for, like, four or five years. Maybe a little more. You know... Rolling Earthquake, you know, never been printed outside of a portal. And none of the, you know, never been printed outside of a portal set, you know? Well, outside of Portal Three Kingdoms. Living Death, I mean, that's... <laughs> oh, gods. Yikes. You know? So, I mean... If... If it's, you want the cards and whatnot... I mean, this can be a good value for money if you want the cards and... Even if you already have most of these cards, which, yeah, that's forbidden, I do. I mean, aside from, like, you know, some of the, the ones from Alara Block, and the two from Shadowmoor, and the Portal Three Kingdoms, all the other cards I've got. 
pretty sure I've got a smoke st smokestacks hanging around and whatnot. I mean, yeah, I've got this stuff, but I, I, I'm glad I bought the pack. It's a nice pack. I like it. It's pretty. Blah, blah, blah. Well, what's not to love about this thing, you know? You're blowing everything up. You're blowing everything up, son. I like that little magnetic clasp on it. That's nice. It's a nice touch. Uh, if I recall, I'm trying to remember what the last From the Vault product was. Um, was it Legends? I want to say it was Legends. Uh, or, uh, the one with a bunch of legendary creatures. That one was really a disappointment because it was, I don't know, like a year, two years ago, something like that. And it was a most, a large percentage of the cards were from, like, Alara Block and all, and it's just like, I'm not saying anything bad about Alara Block, you know, I'm not. But when you've got a product that's, you know, legendary creatures, and theoretically um, a lot of them are for, you know, you know, to help people EDH wise, um, and most of the stuff is recent, especially when you're calling it from the vault, it's like, and it, it's, you're talking about cards that were less than three years old for a lot, I mean a lot of them. I might understand one term, and it's one, one card from a relatively recent set. Okay, that's fine. I understand. It really is, like, crazy at what it does. I got it. It's cool. It's one card. Who cares, right? But, you know, when you're printing a From the Vault set where somewhere, but so where like a third or more of the cards in the set aren't even in the vault. They were on their way, they were in the line to get into the vault, and you From the Vaulted them. What the hell is that? Really, guys? Really? Freaking really? I don't know. I'm going to take that die and put it in my dice bag. Because I'm like that. Alrighty. But yeah, I mean, this is not a bad set at all. It really isn't. So... There you go, fellas. So be good. Stay safe. Happy gaming. Catch you whenever the hell the next time I catch you is. Laters.